What's going on guys? So I am back at one of my favorite places to fish in Minnesota. This is a river eddy. I did a video here a little bit ago. I am always here fishing, probably, I don't know, once every couple of months because you can pull some really amazing fish out of here, especially smallies, but there's also walleye in here. There's pike, there's catfish. There is really a mixed bag of fish that you can catch in this river eddy here. And so I'm gonna gear up, I'm gonna hit this river and we're gonna see what we can pull out of here. So I'm gonna get started with one of my favorite baits out here, the Berkeley Gulp Leeches. And I really like this product because then they have that smell to them, they have that attractant to them, and the fish just go nuts for these. So I'm gonna thread that leech on a 1 8 ounce jig, and I'm just going to cast it into all of these little ripples here, all of these little rocks here where the fish are hiding behind. As you can see, it's really shallow in here, so it's gonna be very easy for me to get out to those rocks out there, those rocks out there. I'm just gonna fan this entire eddy. We're gonna see what we can pull out of here. I am with Aiden, I am with Megan. I'm Hello. gonna teach these guys how to fish for real fish today. So we've got all these rapids out here. We've got this nice eddy in here. So guys, you see where the water ripples and uh, it's a little bit more rapidy than the calm water. Those fish are gonna be hiding right behind these rocks and they're gonna be hiding in ambush mode. So you don't wanna to walk to the rocks and spook them, you wanna cast right behind the rocks. There you go, you got a fish? Yeah. Look at that. Uh, you wait a minute, wait a minute, you don't have a fish. Yeah. What do you got? You caught a clam. <laughs> a clam? How did you, I have never seen anything like this before. Look at this. <laughs> you caught <laughs> that. <laughs> That's photo worthy. But look at that. I mean, he literally, you dragged it along and he clamped down on this thing. Look at this. I mean, you literally hooked this clam. I don't know how to get your hook out of a clam. I've never seen anybody hit a clam like that. There we go. That's really Thank awesome. You. All right, take that to the taxidermist. <laughs> that is so awesome. First catch of the day. All right, I'm teaching you how to fish for fish and you catch a clam. That's pretty epic. And this current is really strong. So it's gonna take your lure as soon as you cast it and start coming towards you. Okay. So you gotta keep your line tight. And it's a, it, it'll take some finesse. Oh, there we go, there's a fish. Woo oh yeah, come on. Nice smallie. Look at this, come here buddy, come here. Oh yeah. Yep, that's a smallmouth bass. First fish of the day, you guys owe me five bucks. I didn't agree to that. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not my 20. I don't even think it's a 10, but it's the first fish of the day. This is what I love about this place is we haven't been here for five minutes. Already we got a clam and we got a nice smallie. All right, buddy, let's get you back in the water here. There you go. <laughs> and that's how you do it, guys. So last spring I was out here and the water was at an all time high this spring and it was really difficult to fish, but I did manage to pull out a couple of surprises. Oh, there we go, fish on. Nice. Just as I thought, right on the edge of that current. Look at that. Total ambush mode right on the edge of that current, and this is a nice little smallie, too. This is a nice little smallie. Come on in here, buddy. Look at that. Haven't made more than maybe two or three casts. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. There we go. And look at that. I haven't even made more than two to three casts already. Not the biggest smallie in the world, but certainly respectable. I'll take it for maybe cast number three. That was pretty awesome. All right, so let's get you unhooked here and get back in the water. Today could be an absolutely epic day. All right, off you go there, bud. Woo! <laughs> Just like that, third cast in, literally right on the edge of that current, right on the edge of this giant eddy here. 
And if you remember the video that I shot last year here, we were literally walking the rocks in about ankle high water out there. Now it's probably knee high out there, but those rocks and that current is still there and it still kind of functions the same way. But the problem with this high water is I'm getting eaten alive out here. There we go, there's another, ooh. ooh. Did you see that? That was not a smallie. That was a pike that just bit me off. Man. I didn't get a really good glimpse of it. I hope I got that tail on camera. That was a big pike that just bit me off. All right, that's the magic spot right in front of me. I'm gonna retie and get back out there. So this Helgramite has served us well, but we've caught some really nice fish off of that, but I am going to switch to one of these Berkeley Power Gulp, 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 Berkeley Power Gulp. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. I'm going to switch to one of these Power Gulp leeches and uh, see if we can get something just as big or bigger off of these. There we go. Ooh, another hit. Another miss, another fish jump out there. This is what, oh, there was another hit, dang it. I think these are these little guys that are just biting the tail like this. Watch this. I can already tell this is a little guy. Oh no, he's sizable. I like it. This is respectable. He's not a little dude by any means. Come here, buddy. Come on. Quit doing the floppy crappie. All right, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna just do this. There we go. Now I can get that out of there. He was barely hooked, but nice little respectable smallie on that power leech. All right, man, these are so much fun to catch. I could catch these guys all day long. There you go, buddy. See you later. Yep, Helgramites and Berkeley power leeches. They are my go-to for smallies. Oh, there's another hit. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. This one's got some spunk. Doesn't seem very big and he's not fighting like a smallie. What is this? That's a walleye. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Oh, yes. I knew that wasn't fighting like a smallie. That is a nice walleye. But that's what I was talking about. There are so many species of fish that take advantage of this eddy. And there is a beautiful walleye that I'm gonna need a pair of players for here. That is a nice eater walleye. However, I am just out here to fish just kind of for fun. Let's get you revived and off you go. There we go. There he is, got him. He's on, he's on. Oh, nice. Nice little respectable smallie. Not too big, not too small. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's no smallie. Come on up here. That's another walleye. I've never seen a walleye jump like that before. Man, these guys have some pretty sharp needle-like teeth. Let me uh, give you an assist there, buddy. Oh, right in the corner of the mouth, perfectly hooked. Well, that's two walleyes for the day. And uh, if we were fishing in Canada, this would definitely be an eater. But man, you just can't beat that. All right, there you go, off you go. All right, two walleyes. And I lost count how many smallies, but did you see that walleye? He jumped. I've never seen a walleye jump like that, or if I have, I've forgotten about it, but Usually they don't jump like that, and that's why I thought that was a smallie. That was pretty cool. All right, the power of the fresh power gulp leech. That was pretty awesome. Let's get another one. So fishing an eddy like this can be really rewarding. Sometimes it can be really frustrating when the water is really low like this. There's not a lot of places to cast into because the water is shallow, warms up, the fish go into deeper water, harder to get there on foot. But it is always such an amazing day out here to fish this river eddy. I'm definitely gonna be back out here time and time again. One of my favorite fishing spots again. So anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. And until the next fishing adventure, fish the planet and rattle on. Thank <laughs> you.